Okay, okay, we're trying something new here. This is my first time filming a YouTube video on my iPad, so let's hope and pray that the quality turns out good. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be filming a what's on my iPhone. Hopefully this will give you guys some inspo with customizing your phone for summer. So a quick little rundown of all the basic information. I have the iPhone 14 Plus in the starlight color. My case is from Kate Spade. It has a floral design. And then I have an Octo Buddy, which honestly is run down. Like it doesn't even stick to things anymore because I've had it for a while. All right, starting with my lock screen. This is what it looks like. I think it screams summer. It gives off beach vibes. And I I love how the color of the time kind of matches like the theme of the image. I got that photo of my lock skin from Pinterest. Literally almost everything that you guys are about to see on my phone is from Pinterest. So I just have the time in pink and I have two widgets on my lock screen. One with the weather, it shows the high and the low and then the actual temperature outside right now. And then it shows like a little circle of my battery percentage on my phone. When you go into the phone, this is what it looks like. So the background's kind of like a sunset ombre type vibe. It starts with like pink and it has orange, light pink, a little hint of yellow at the top i have a widget it's a calendar of the month so today when i'm filming this it is tuesday june 18th under that i have a widget that says summer vacation also from pinterest and then beside that is just a widget that shows the battery of my phone we're chilling we're doing pretty good i normally start to get panicked when it's at one percent i honestly think they need to have a one percent warning because all they do is 20 percent then 10 percent i need a one percent warning because i always notice at the last second and then my phone starts lagging and i'm like Oh, I gotta charge my phone. Under that, I just have the basic like Apple apps. We have camera, photos, calendar, clock. Guys, look at this. Do you know how peaceful this is? I deleted every single alarm from the school year. Nothing is on here right now. Not until August, which is so relaxing. A lot of stress has been removed. I can sleep in. Recently, I've been sleeping in until like 11, 12. And I'm really trying to work on that. I wanna wake up earlier because I feel like I'm wasting the day away. Then we have calculator. I don't know. It's calculator. Okay, next is the app store. Then we have settings. And then beside that is find my. Basically, if you have Apple device that's lost, you can use this app to notify that device and it'll make a sound and you can go find it. It'll have a map and it'll show you where that device is, which is really cool. And at the bottom, like you guys see that little clear like bubble thing. I just have three like main communication apps. I have phone, messages, and FaceTime. I don't know if it's just me, but FaceTime, I have my off and on days with FaceTime. So I'm like, I'll like it one day, then the next day I won't. I don't know how to describe it. I feel like my social battery for FaceTime is like very low. Like I can only do like 10 minutes. But then some days I could like, yeah. I don't know. So that's it for my first page. I only have two pages because I wanted to keep it kind of minimalistic and simple. This is what my next page looks like. At the top, we have two widgets. The first one says, be the sunshine. And then the one beside it says, you are doing your best because you are. Actually, under the one that says, be the sunshine, it's my summer 2024 playlist. Uh, it's loading. Guys, I think I ate with this one. If you guys need any song inspo or ideas to put on your summer playlist, here you go. I got you. I wanted this to feel very much like 2010 like you know what i mean because those songs they all give off summer vibes i only have like a few songs like that are recent like all of these are like throwbacks i think this playlist eats up like it's really good and a lot of these songs when i was going through it i was like oh my gosh i haven't heard this song in so long get your inspo right here this playlist is five hours and 42 minutes 94 songs and i'm not even done i'm like satisfied with it i want to keep adding on to it hopefully that helped you guys out and under that i have the verse of the day and this is connected to my bible app 213 day street going strong this is the verse of the day today james 1 27 i still have to watch the video and do the guided prayer but i like having it on my home screen because every time i go to this page i see a bible verse and i can always apply it to my everyday life under that i have the rest of my apps that i wanted to display first we have the one and only pinterest y'all don't understand how much i love this app Ooh, that milkshake looks good <laughs> anyways <laughs> I could just scroll in here for hours, bro, and never get sick of it. This is what my account looks like for you guys. If you wanna follow it, it's the same as my YouTube, Maddie Famber. I'm on this app so much. I just added something to my board actually too, which is why it says now. My favorite boards as of right now are nail ideas. This one for sure, the word. This board gives me a lot of motivation and it kind of gives me like a new perspective on life. I love Pinterest. If you guys don't have Pinterest, I would definitely recommend it's such a fun app i think this is classified as a 
social media. I'm not sure, but if it is, this is like the safe spot social media. Then next we have YouTube, which is what you're watching. This is my channel. If you aren't subscribed, definitely go subscribe. I want to try and hit 5K by the end of the year. That's honestly like a huge goal. That's a lot, but I'm committed. I'm going to try and do it if I don't. I just wanna have like consistent growth. And then we have Disney Plus. Let me show you guys some of my favorite movies on here. First, we have Princess and the Frog. I love, love, love this movie. It's so good. Next, 10 Things I Hate About You. I was actually watching this last night, re-watching it. Such a good movie. And all the TikTok edits to this movie, they're so cute. I repost literally almost every single one. But I watched this movie actually for the first time when I was going to Spain. If you guys haven't watched my Spain vlogs, go do it right now it'll be linked in the description like the playlist yeah on the way to spain i was watching it on the airplane i just randomly clicked on it one day i was like yeah let's watch it let's see what it's talking about yep love that movie now this movie i watched with kylie this movie is so cute any of the high school musicals definitely a must watch if you guys can't tell i love watching rom-coms or just romance movies they're so cute jesse is a childhood classic next we have netflix oh my goodness they added wonder to netflix guys i love this movie so much in elementary school we did a class read of reading the book and then at the end we watched the movie it's looking kind of sad but it has a good meaning behind it this is random but i just started young sheldon one season one episode three i don't know if i'm gonna watch all of it because it's five seasons and i don't know if i can get through all of that but i've been seeing a lot of tiktok edits of the show here's some of my faves like my og childhood faves from netflix is there even anything to say alex and katie love that show so much i've rewatched it so many times i'm rewatching it right now on season four episode four my favorite season is definitely season four when they're seniors i also like to watch this at the beginning of each school year of the grade i'm going into last year i watched season two when they were sophomores and i was going into sophomore year this year in august i'm gonna watch season three over again because that's when they were juniors and i'm going into junior you see what i'm going in there but that's what i like to do i love that show so much we'll never get tired of it then family reunion this show so good as well i actually rewatched the first season like two weeks ago it was really good i forgot how much i like that show but yeah those are some of my childhood faves then we have roblox and apparently bloxburg became free i kind of want my, my robux back now it's free i think I've been, oh, oh, what in the world? I've been hearing they made it free because um, it was like a lack of, we are leaving paid access. Thank you so much for playing and sharing your kid. Okay, so did we get a refund or like what? Wait, for your early receipt, comfort master, early access, early box burger title. Oh, so it's a car, a trophy. They could have gave us each like a little 100k bonus, but whatever. Also, don't mind my avatar. This is my little house I'm working on. Anyways, let me get off of here. I'm gonna get distracted. Yeah, that's Roblox. I used to play Roblox a lot during quarantine. Next, we have TikTok. This app is the reason why my screen time is so high. And we have YouTube Studio. That's basically where you check the analytics for your YouTube channel. Lastly, we have Instagram. Yeah, that is it for my phone. And then when you swipe it again, it just shows the app library. And these are all the other apps that i didn't place on my home screen but they're still downloaded usually when school's in session i'll have like a whole different page just for school so now i'm going to be telling you guys where everything is from all you're going to need is color widgets and widget smith so the first widget right here i got from color widgets you can see at the bottom and when you go in the app oh they updated it shows your previous designs but you can edit it you can make it whatever color you want oh that's cute i had a countdown for school so that's what that says but you can do whatever you want in here and you just customize it which is just a little different you can pick any picture i get all of mine from Pinterest. Click add small widget and then go to photos, choose from photos and you can pick any photo, make it a widget. And let me show you guys how to add it to your home screen. This is a quick tutorial. I'm gonna do a full out tutorial when I do my customization iPad video. Guys, I was planning out my content. I don't think that video is gonna be out till August or like late July. Please excuse me for that. I am so sorry. Anyways, you're gonna hold it down, click the plus up top. You're going to search widgets and type in widget smith, add widget. And then you're gonna hold it down, click edit widget also you can title the image once you pick the image from your camera roll. so that's what i do a lot to help keep me organized let's just do this one for example x mystery star <laughs> there we go or let's say i wanted to change that uh, let's say i didn't like it let's do a good day to be alive 
and yeah it pops up just like that so that's how you add a widget you can move it around anywhere on your phone and then going back to the search you're going to search up color widget click add widget edit widget and you can pick whatever one you want and yeah that is how you add widgets that's it for my what's on my iphone but like i said for a full in-depth tutorial it's going to be in another video when i'm customizing my iphone so hopefully you guys will stick around and wait for that video to be uploaded if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you guys like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye